you can just find it because it, you feel like it, okay? Okay, that's that's all you need to do. You all need to, you just need to feel like it, okay? And then you'll have it, and then you'll feel feel good about yourself. Wait, what's the meaning of deja vu? Wait, what's the meaning of deja vu? No, I'm just kidding. Here. Okay, so hello guys, I am Powdy Punk, and in this video, I am showing you guys, or I'm telling you guys, some tips and tricks for grim soul survival. So, tip number one: around your base, like your starter area, where you get to live and build your own home, you have to make sure you know, you know. That you want to keep some trees around. If you want to keep some trees around, then don't cut them down. Well, okay, the thing is, if you cut down the tree, it doesn't grow back. This is where I mucked up. I thought it would grow back. So I cut every single tree down and then I thought the stump would grow back. I don't know why I thought that. Maybe I'm dumb. It turns out I probably am dumb. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was so funny, wasn't it? Your will is still... No, your what? Your will is your weapon. Oh, yeah, so I found out the weirdest thing. Apparently, I'm part zombie. This character is part zombie. It's a bit weird. Look at this. He's a, I mean, no. Okay, so. Also, when you're just starting your game, like when you're just starting your home base, you don't actually need to build, like, walls yet. All you need... Is a floor. All you need is a floor. You don't need to work on walls because no one can actually raid you yet. People can only raid, like, further in the future. Somewhere in the future. I don't know, so don't ask me. But that's the thing. Don't work on building walls just yet. That could be, like, a future job because it turns out you really need this wood. Like, I had to go out so many times and almost die so many times. And, yeah, that happened. Oh, yeah, and also, one more thing. Horberries. Yeah, Horberries are more useful than holy berries. So that's why I always try to eat your holy berries more. And now look at this. I'm just going to puke over here. Yeah, I don't feel so good. <laughs> I'm a bit smart. Tip number three. Build a peasant's chest first, and then straight away after you've built your peasant's chest, like just one peasant's chest is all you need. Throw all your stuff in there when you're starting, okay? And then instantly go out into the fog, which is on any side of your home base area, and then it'll take you to the map. And on this map, it would come up saying, an attacked caravan, oh no, what you gonna do when it comes for you? And then you're like, okay, I'm gonna go there instead of it coming to me. No, nothing to do with that. You're just gonna go there though. Is a good idea. Once you've put all your stuff in a peasant's chest, you go straight to the attack caravan. Once you do that, you can get, like, there's over 50 slots of loot there. And there's pretty much no zombies. I think there might possibly want be one zombie. But from what I know, there's not a single zombie. So, yeah. And also, make sure you hold nothing. Not holding a single thing. Because if there is a zombie, you can just punch it to death. But also, make sure you're not even wearing any items or holding any items or anything. Because then you can carry so much more. The most important materials would be like, all this stuff is really important. Like th this, 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 and this. They're really important because you'll need those in the future. And these, definitely, these are like really rare. Possibly even the rarest item in the game. And make sure you get these too. Like, grow them. Because they're so useful. Just grow them in one of those whatnots. Okay. Tip number four. Work on building Raven's Cage for challenges. Because once you've built a Raven's Cage, which is this thing right here, which you probably can't see, that's what it looks like. So you want to make sure you build one of these, and then when you're inside it, and you press this little button down here, press that, you go in here, and yeah, you need all of this. That's why it was good when you're at the attack caravan to get all this stuff. Make sure you get all that stuff. And also, this is really useful now, as well as this, I'm pretty sure. Definitely this, which is meant to be over there, but um, this too. And ropes, okay, I guess. 
because you can use your copper and make copper ingots. If you want to level up really fast, like as fast as you can, the fastest way to level up is if you collect stone and wood. Those are the main things that level you up really fast. Just collecting. And, oh, look. Oh, no. How did... Wait, what? Okay, it rarely ever happens to have a creature come to your place. That's why I'm just going to beat it up real quick. Oofed, oofed. Yeah, this weapon's actually really strong too, so make sure you get as many of these as you can. Even though it's not that common. It's like really uncommon. Tip six. Night guest. When the night guest, night guest comes, he is like, you can't even damage him. Not a single weapon in the game can damage him. So for you to be able to survive him, well, the only time that he actually attacks you is if you're out gathering resources at night. So the best way to... The only way to scare him off or to get away from them is to hold a torch or stand on red things, which I don't know what they're called, but these big things. A burning torch is just... Yeah, look, it's literally talking about the same thing as what I'm talking about. Wait, where'd it go? That's weird. So, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. It was actually... It's a stalker. Those red things are stalkers. You know, it's exactly what I'm talking about. Don't trust them. Actually, no, they give you good tips. Trust them. Sometimes. If I say so. <laughs> okay. Tip number seven. Oh, yeah, actually, no, I didn't even finish. So hold, have a torch or stand on the red things, like uh, this big one here. Because when you get onto one of these, he runs away. He doesn't come for you. For some reason. Maybe this thing looks too red and he's seen too much blood from killing people. That he just doesn't want to see it anymore. Okay, maybe that's it. Um. Um. Yeah, you can also run into the fog, which is every side of the mat just run out into there and you'll lose them and yeah okay tip number seven if at home oh yeah also go inside just go into go into your house like if he's chasing you just get into your house and shut the door and he, he'll go away and you can just taunt him you can literally just go <laughs> wait what i just dabbed on you <laughs> yeah, dab on him i dare you Hit that comment, oh no, hit that like and comment down below. Just like dab. No, never do that. That's that's just, that's a disgrace. No. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? Tip number eight. Oh yeah, seven's just weird. <laughs> okay. Tip number eight. Broken car event. Broken car event is where you can get your own horse. This isn't for when you're starting because you need a stable. Which takes a while. I'll I'll tell you about that later. But to get a horse, you need you need to tame a horse at the broken cart event. That's the only way you can get a horse. Tip nine: only two attacked caravans forever. Like that's the only amount of attack caravans you ever get in the game. So you want to instantly do what I said at first: drop all your stuff, put it all inside a peasant's chest or any chest. And then run straight there, butt naked, and take everything. Like, get as much as you can. The main important things are, like, what I showed you before. Okay. Um. Oh, there's also an event where there's the Night at Cemetery. It's It has lots of good weapons, and the only place to find... Oh, no. It's got a, it's got a few scrolls. It's got like a scroll of control. I have no idea what that is, but yeah, you can yeah 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 you can just find it because you feel like it. Okay, okay, that's that's all you need to do. You all need to, you just need to feel like it. Okay, and then you'll have it, and then you'll feel feel good about yourself because you have whatever it is. Okay, okay. Tip number eleven: the hardest event is the treasure of the damned. It requires two sets of gear it also requires like several weapons because of the amount of zombies it's got really good stuff like such good stuff there um there's also also stealth potions they are like the one of the rarest things in the game they're extremely rare um it re yeah okay tip 12 <coughs> that's not it ai bases are so good for getting loot 
like this place here. This is an AI base. Um, oh, rats. I think I've actually looted them. Yeah, I've looted this one. But yeah, this is actually such a good place for getting loot. And also, you can use their own spike walls. You can use their spike walls. Just lure. No way. Do you think... Oh, okay. Recipes. How do I do it? Tell me. Tell me now. I don't, I don't know. Like, how do you use this to get... You know what? I'm just going to take it because I feel like it, okay? All you have to do, just feel like it. Maybe you're the villain in this story. What? Yeah, maybe I am. Maybe I stole your carrots. Maybe I stole your corn, man. Oh, I want that. What is that? Oh, okay, wait, what am I doing? Yeah, see, this place is such a really good loot. But you actually need bombs, which I'll get into later, to be able to break their doors or walls. So, oh, my. And if you stay too long, that happens. So, yeah, hurry out. Black powder for bombs is in three... Oh, yeah, this is what I'm getting into later. The black powder and bombs and stuff like that. You can find black powder in places that are three skulls. So, like, that one there, you can find black powder in. There's, like, these... Uh, what's it called? Um, oh, there's these little areas that... Like, little things that you can loot, and they have black powder in them, and they only appear at night. So, yeah, you want to make sure you get there and take it all at night. And, uh, yeah, so... Tip number 15, no, 14, no, I don't know, I don't even know, okay? Tip 14. In case you don't know, when you die, you lose whatever you're holding. Like, literally anything you're holding and is in, in your inventory, like all of this, I would lose it if I died. Like, literally, I wouldn't even have it anymore. And also, just this other extra tip, in case you don't know, see this bit down here? If you sit something in there, which I didn't know this at first, now when you run around, you can just tap this other thing next to your weapon, and it instantly uses whatever it was. It's like you could have a pickaxe there, because then you could be hidden something, getting materials, and if something appears, you don't have to go into your inventory. You can just tap that, and then you're holding a weapon already. You can kill it. Okay, Fifth, let, tip 15. Forsaken dungeon key is in the gatekeeper's hut, and the gatekeeper is really hard, so don't at all try attacking when you're not ready. Okay, he's, like, so strong. And he spawns wolves, so, yeah. Pretty dangerous, man. And you need, like, quite a bit of food and, like, a certain uh, sword, like a barrack... Barracker's sword? Bar barrack sword? You know what I mean, okay? You get it. You get it. Okay. Tip 16. First dungeon you unlock, the Forsaken Orders dungeon has blueprints and materials to build a grindstone, which gives you better weapons, like really good weapons, like the barrack sword or the barrack sword, whatever it is, okay? Cool off. <laughs> Ugh. I gotta get my head wrapped around whatever the thing is called. Um, tip, tip 17. The torturer's chair, the torturer's chair is the key to unlocking dungeon level two. Okay, like, the second part of this dungeon here, the torturous key is literally the only way to be able to unlock that. Because you need to catch, you need a forsaken hermit, it sounds like a hermit crab, but it's actually a person, but yeah, it, it doesn't matter. Just look, either look for a crab or a person, okay, you can decide, okay. <laughs> you need a forsaken, sorry, a forsaken hermit. Um, which you find inside three skull areas, like the same place up here, that three skull area place. Yeah, I go play my band there. I don't even have a band. I don't play anything to do with music. And yeah, <laughs> so that makes sense. Uh, you put them on the torturous chair after you catch them. I don't know how you catch them, so don't ask me that. Um, and you, you unlock the dungeon level two. That's what you need to do. And that's where the last piece for the stables is. When you want to tame a horse, you need to have a stable. But for the stable, there's a certain piece that you can only find in level 2 
part of the dungeon. Which, the dungeon is really strong, and you need a lot of food, a lot of swords and weapons and materials, and... <laughs> yeah, it's just crazy. But, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Tip 19. The lumber... Lumber... Blah, blah, blah. Lumber burns 50% more than wood. Fried leek is a real... A really, really, really good... Good food. It, like... It restores... 30 health over time. It's actually so helpful. So if you eat, like, two of those, you're back really high up in health. Like, your highest would be 90 health. You would, yeah, you'd get, like, over half your health back. It's actually so good. You eat three and you're full health. Well, you're 90 health, but it doesn't matter, okay? Okay? Okay. Hawberries, I've already told you this, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to tell you again. You're going to deal with it. So... Hallberries have more uses than than um holy berries. So aim to eat holy berries first. Tip twenty two. It's better to have two sewing machines before using cords on stables. And if you don't know what I mean by cords, they are these things. So that's what that's so yeah, so I'll say it again. And you'll deal with it. It's better to have two sewing machines before using cords on stables. Knight, oh, tip 23. Knights and Templar drop salt, salt Peter. I don't know what that is, but you guys probably do. So, yeah. It's used for black powder and nails. Tip 24. Nails and Grim Salt are far more expensive on the game then last day of earth last day on earth okay like you you if you've played last day on earth you probably think they're not expensive and it's just yeah that's just lame that you have to craft them out of like such hard to find materials but actually them yeah they they're much more expensive okay like they're used much more and they're like the rarest thing in the game so yeah it's not my fault it's the game's fault you got to deal with it. So, yeah. I hope these 24 tips and tricks come useful to you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Because I know you want to. Somewhere. Like, way somewhere. Like, way, way somewhere. Like, so far somewhere. You want to hit that subscribe button. So, yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And comment down below if any of these tips and tricks really helped you. And, yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Out.